Okay. This is so weird, I don't usually make videos, so I don't know how to, to act, you know? Hey everyone, it is officially September, my birthday month, Virgo season. I am at my peak prime harvest moon, like, solar eclipse time of the year. I'm, like, maximum state of mind, like, the is right now is the state of mind that I want to be in, like, all the time. Yeah. I decided, since it's the first week in September, we are going to kick it off with a nice, fun drinking activity because... It's Virgo season, and I'm also gonna say that it's Virgo season like 10 more times in this video. Let's play a drinking game. Every time I say Virgo season, you like, you drink, okay? Cause I don't wanna drink alone. So for this week's video, I'm gonna be tasting a whole bunch of wines that were recommended to me, and I have a lot of different options, so it's gonna get a little crazy, okay? I may be drunk by the end of this video, so say bye to me being sober. Bye. What? Yay! <laughs> All right, real quick before we hop into this week's video, I do want to give a huge shout out to my manager for helping me think of the idea for this video, and then also a huge thank you to the sponsor of this week's video, my mom. Thank you guys. So I went ahead and I grabbed myself some cheese and crackers, that way I can like cleanse my palate in between trying the different wines. So if you see me snacking, it's on this, and I'm gonna go ahead and start already because I'm a little hungry, okay? And I'm really excited because I love cheese so much. Oh my god. So I texted everyone that I know, six people, and I asked them what their favorite wine was. So let's go through the list of what we're going to be tasting today. So I texted Alexandria, her answer was a white Zinfandel. My mom said that her favorite wine was this Voga wine, which she always drinks, and I went to three different liquor stores looking for it, couldn't find it. That is the one wine I couldn't find, so sorry mom. So I asked Alex and he told me that his favorite was this boxed wine, which I found one like it, so I'm pretty excited to try that one. I asked Mariah and she said the Stella Rosa black flavor is her favorite. I asked Paige and she said, bitch I hate wine. I asked Elena and she said a peach Moscato. And I asked Maddie and she said a cherry Moscato. So those are the ones that I'm going to be trying that were suggested to me and then I also picked up a couple extra ones, so a little bonus taste test on those. So without further ado, let's get started, okay? In no particular order, we are going to start with Elena's peach Moscato because it was the first one that I grabbed out of the freezer. I have had Moscato before. I've had pink Moscato, and I also think I've had pineapple. Uh. And I don't think I've had very many peach flavored things, so I'm kind of just excited of what this tastes like in general. I'm a little excited for this. I'm gonna try and like drink at least like a glass full of each of them, that way I can like really give like a valid opinion. So like I filled it up to the line. Let's see what this tastes like. Are you supposed to do that? Like shake it up? When I went wine tasting, she gave me like a whole bunch of tips like about like how to like actually drink it and like you're not supposed to hold it like from here because it like warms it up and shit like that, but like I don't give a fuck about any of the rules, okay, bitch, I'm at home. That is good. That's really good. That is really good. Wow. That's tasty. Like that's, that tastes good. Like there's not even like, usually when I drink, like anything with alcohol in it, I like make like a little bit of a face like unintentionally just cause it's just like a little gross but this is like I'm drinking it like straight face like like it's good it's good this is tasty I really like this I will buy this again okay I love this should I chug it? <laughs> it's Virgo season I will <laughs> you know I've never been good at chugging drinks. Uh. Am I drunk already? <laughs> this is 7.5%. 10 out of 10 would recommend and would buy again. So this one is like in first place and I also think it might be the winner. I am next going to be trying Alexandria's suggestion of a white Zinfandel. This is her favorite. So um, it looks a lot like the one that I just drank, but a little bit darker, so I'm a little bit scared that this one's gonna have, like, a very strong taste to it. Okay, this one's 9%, so we're moving up a little bit, so now I'm really scared. How do you open this? I just assumed that they would all be twist off. Like, it's 2020. I think we should just make them all twist off, okay? Like, this isn't the 1700s. Why are we still using cork? Bro, how do you open this? So, I'm gonna cut to me when I have this open, finally, because I'm, like, taking the paper off six and a half hours later oh awesome so we reveal a cork um 
We ran into our first problem because I just assumed that everything would be like a twist off lid, which is fine. Um, okay, I know how to do this. Um, I just need like a nail. So this just turned into a DIY video on how to open a wine bottle if you don't have a corkscrew. That's what they're called, right? Yeah, I probably should get one since I'm an adult now, but whatever. I have this long screw that you're supposed to like jam in here. Take the fork and pull it out. Later that same evening. <sighs> to say that I am angry is a colossal understatement. We managed to move the cork all the way to the top. At which point it gave the fuck up on moving any any further. Oh. When this video is done, me and that bottle, we gonna ca you gonna catch me outside, how about that? Catch me outside, how about that? Catch her outside, and she'll go outside and do what she has to do. We're gonna save that for the end and hopefully like when I'm drunk I can like summon some superpower like inner strength within me to get it open. As of right now, it's stuck and I've had it with that. So, this next wine suggested by Maddie is a red Moscato, but it is cherry flavored. Um, and she actually hasn't tried it, but she says that she really wants to, so here I'm going to give you the review of it. I'm not excited. This sounds really disgusting. It looks like medicine. Don't tell me this is another cork. Ow. Okay. I got it open. Okay, cool. Yep. Smells like medicine. This smells so gross. I'm gonna go into it with an open mind. I do like cherry flavored like, um, well, nothing really. Well? No. Well. <laughs> It's good. It, it is good. It tastes like, kind of tastes like, like a cherry slush, like from like Sonic or something, but like melted down. It doesn't smell great. It kind of smells a bit like medicine, but it doesn't taste like medicine at all. This is really good, and I think it's like really cool because it's like, it's kind of dark. It looks like I'm like drinking like a dark red wine. It's like, what is he drinking? Like I look classy, like an 8.7 out of 10. Yeah, this is cool. This is like, a, this is a fun, cool drink. Oh, it matches my hair. Virgo season. Moving on to our next one. I'm really happy that Alex suggested, this is heavy. I'm really happy that Alex suggested a boxed wine because I really wanted to try one because like it's weird that it comes in a box but I'm like I'm excited. I have no idea how you're supposed to like drink it though. There was different flavors and um, I just decided to go with uh, rosé was one of them and it looked like pink and pretty so I was like it probably doesn't taste that bad so I'll go with it. Okay I'm like really scared I'm about to like spill this everywhere but let's just see what happens. So I'm gonna push in through tab A, <sighs> open it like that. It says we're a little bit below medium bodied. What the f does body mean? Um, sweetness, it's a little bit medium dry. This is that it pairs with pork and fresh fruit. I have cheese and crackers, so I hope that is equivalent. <gasps> oh my god, that's so cool. Um, this is gonna be really hot though. It has a very tart taste. I don't even know what the word tart means, but I'm, I'm assuming it means that. It's also not cold, it's very lukewarm, so it's not the best. I've definitely had way worse wine, so like this isn't bad. It's just not as good as the first two. Yeah, it's tart, it's very tarty. Y'all, this really? has 34 glasses in it and I can barely make it through one. It's just like, it's not great. It's not great. That's just what I'm gonna say. It's not great. I want to say like a flat six. Like this is a very flat, just a six. I forgot to check and I forgot to say that the boxed wine of Rosé was a 10.5% alcohol by volume. So it's definitely more than the other two. And um, now we're going to move on to our next one, which I am absolutely terrified. Thank you, Mariah, for suggesting the Stella Rosa Black. Um, I'm kind of like a little skeptical of any black liquid just because um, 
That sounds a little poisonous. Oh, this is only 5% alcohol. So this is our weakest one. I was not expecting that, so it must taste good then. As far as like presentation, like, this is the nicest bottle. I don't smell anything. Kind of smells like cranberry juice. I'm a little excited now, but if it doesn't taste good, I'm not with it. But it's only 5%, I don't think it should taste too bad. But then again, like so is Bud Light, and that is disgusting. It doesn't smell bad. Like if we're rating by smell, this one smells the best out of all of them. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. I like, I should just stop questioning Mariah's judgment because she has like really good judgment and like I just like, I'm so skeptical, but like she knows what she's talking about. She really does. This is really good. Also, I had this in the freezer, so it's like, it's really cold and it's tasty. If you are a huge grape juice fan, I would highly recommend this. Ingredients, wine, grape, must. What is grape must? Like you must have grape. This is the winner of tonight. This is a 10 out of 10. Highly recommend that you guys go out and buy this if you're a fan of grape. Even if not, you should give it a try because I'm not kidding, this shit is good. So the camera died and I let it charge for like 45 minutes and so during that time I walked down to the liquor store like across the street and I bought a corkscrew that way I can open this other bottle. Since I have a corkscrew now, we're officially going to open this white Zinfandel that Alexandria recommended. Oh my god! It's finally open! That's not bad. So this is 9%. I feel like that's still like a lot compared to the ones that we have had so far. And it doesn't taste bad. It's like a, it's like a level above the tasting of the rosé. Like the rosé is a very like more tart and dry version of this one. This one is more like less harsh on the, the palate. It's good though. It's good. Wait, why is it called white Zinfandel if it's pink? I have no idea how I would describe the taste of this though. It tastes a little zen, a little um, fideli. If you were to drink rosé and you didn't like it, this is better than that. Oh, I'm giving such terrible descriptions, I'm sorry. This gets a seven. When I was in the process of this video idea, I was debating whether or not I wanted to vlog beforehand of me shopping for it, and I decided, let's just do me tasting it because nobody needs all that extraness. But now, I wish I would have vlogged before because I went to the liquor store and this old lady came up to me and I guess she saw me just like looking intensely at wines because I was like looking for what everyone told me to buy. She came up to me and she was holding two bottles of wine and she was like, you should get this one. And she had like a really thick German accent and I was like, okay, like, you know what? This lady knows that I'm looking for a wine and she's suggesting one and this video was about trying people's suggestions. So I was like, okay. So um, I asked her where she got it and she pointed me in the direction. And so we got um, a Tisdale Cabernet Sauvignon. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. And honestly, I am very scared because old ladies have been through it. Their taste buds are not at the level where mine are, but I'm gonna go in with a very open mind because Mariah's was scaring me too, and that one actually ended up being my favorite. So maybe, just maybe, this lady knew what she was talking about. And the fact that she came up to me knowing that I was doing this video, I should've told her to subscribe. <laughs> oh my God, this is so much work. Oh my God. Ow. It's not coming out. Okay, I'm gonna do it on the sink because I'm so, <coughs> I'm so scared of it exploding. We're gonna try this Tisdale Cabernet Sauvign Sauvignon, okay? Doesn't smell great. It smells like, it smells like old lady Friday night for sure. I'm not drinking the full glass, guys. I'm literally just gonna taste this because I know this is not gonna be good. Cheers to you. German lady from the store that I didn't get the name of. Wow! That's flavorful. This one, out of all of them, has been in the freezer the longest, so this is the coldest one. So like for that, it gets like major points. Like it's really cold and it's good. Like for being cold, like I love cold drinks. Cause this, this is terrible. This is really bad, but it was in the freezer so it's like it's okay. Mmm, yum. Yup. And it is borderline bad, but it's not, it's again not the worst that I've ever had. So.
I love that it's cold. This is a 3.4 out of 10. And the 0.4 is because it was cold. Okay. You know what? That last swallow almost made me throw up. So for that, we're gonna bump it down to a 2.7. If anyone wants this, like I'll ship it for free. So like my business email is in the description box below if you wanna like hit me up. I'm doing a giveaway for this bottle. Just like comment like your address and I'll ship this to you. Okay, last one, but definitely not least, I also wanted to try, no one suggested this one, but I just saw it and I was like, okay, it's a can of wine. So I didn't even know that they made wine in cans. So I'm like really, really excited to try this one. And then also I peeped at the bottom just a few minutes ago that this is 12.5%. This can is so tiny, like, this is like a, this is equivalent to like a four loco. It says on the back right here that two of these cans equals an entire bottle. So one can is equivalent to half a bottle of wine. That's crazy. Smells weird. Smells super weird. I don't know what the f I'm smelling. Ugh. It smells like like wine and beer mixed in one. That's really interesting. Who is drinking this? It has like a really weird like consistency for it i think it might be because it's canned it has like a very very faint tint of nail polish like a very like very light blanket of nail polish and then the rest is kind of just like an empty an empty area. I'm, I feel like I'm describing this so weird, but this is literally what's going on in my head, okay? And I feel like it might be because it's like a little, it's carbonated, right? If it's in a can and it made like that popping sound, that means it's carbonated, right? Is that what that means? I don't know science, I'm sorry. While you're drinking it, it's a very, very, very strong taste, but the moment you let go of your like mouth to the can, it's like nothing, it like cuts off immediately. So it's really weird it's definitely not lemon i'll tell you that it's like if you would imagine wine in a can that's this it's so bad and good at the same time like this is honestly like might be like a straight five like it's so it could go either way it does like make me want to die every time i take a sip but like other than that it's good okay i think that's all right we're done Okay, cool. All right, well, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. Also, hit that subscribe button because I make new videos every Saturday, which means that you get a new video every single Saturday. Also, make sure to hit that post notification bell. That way, you get a notification every time that I upload a video. Also, share this video to anyone who likes wine, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. I love grape juice. Like, if you're a huge grape juice fan, why am I saying it like that? If you're a huge grape juice fan, if you are a huge grape juice, well, how do you say juice? Juice, grape juice, grape juice. If you are a huge grape juice,